five neighborhoods to live in Pompano Beach. So, with just over 100,000 residents and over 40 neighborhoods, Pompano Beach offers the conveniences of a large city but with enough local flair to give it a small town feel. So, popular with retirees, families, and professionals alike, Pompano Beach offers more than just a beautiful scenery and desirable temperatures. It's a city that has plenty to offer. So, one of the top five neighborhoods on Pompano Beach, in no particular order, because these are neighborhoods that basically folks ask us about. So, we're going to go ahead and give you the top five as we hear them, okay? So, stick around to the end so you can catch them all. Terramar, located in both Pompano Beach and Lauderdale by the Sea, Terramar gets kind of the best of both areas. It's a short drive to the restaurants and entertainments of Lauderdale by the Sea, okay? And you have shopping, you have access to shopping and restaurants and dining and the amenities of Pomp and the bigger amenities of Pompano Beach. Bordered by the Federal Highway on the west and the Atlantic Ocean on the east, Terra Mar is actually bisected by the Intercoastal Waterway. The Intercoastal Waterway actually provides most folks in here with, um, with waterfront prop not only with waterfront properties, but it also provides all the waterfront properties with quick and easy access to the rest of the Intercoastal and also be the Hillsborough Inlet access to the Atlantic Ocean. And you can sneak around through um, basically th through uh, no fixed bridges, which means that uh, you just kind of motor on out to the intercoastal, head on up to one of the drawbridges, wait for them to go up, okay? And then hit the Hillsborough Inlet about a mile to the north, okay? And next thing you know, you're in the Atlantic. So predominantly single family homes here in Terramar. Most of them were built in the, in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and have gone through a lot of upgrades and a lot of updates, as you can see behind us. But there are still some of the ones that retain that uh, the original charm. They, most of them were built in kind of a Key West style home with uh, the lower single, single story, okay? Um, you know, four, three, four, and five bedroom homes. You can see where a lot of folks have done some, some additional renovation to them. Very, very, very highly sought after neighborhood. Uh, homes here, the average me median price of the homes in here is somewhere around a million and a half to a million and three quarters, okay? And most of the homes in here are owner-occupied. There are a few vacation homes, very, very, very few rentals in here, unless they're shorter-term rentals during the high season or whatever. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's very, very well-maintained. And uh, folks, folks who live here take a lot of pride of ownership, a lot of pride of what's going on. So uh, you can see while looking around, my Terramar is one of the uh, one of the favorite neighborhoods. With a walk score of 63 from walkscore.com, Santa Barbara States is the second most walkable neighborhood in Pompano Beach. Residents can walk to an average of three restaurants, bars, or coffee shops within five minutes. It's that centrally located and that walkable. So it's bordered on the east by the Intercoastal Waterway, and by the south and Lake Santa Barbara itself. Okay, it's this, this is a veritable boater's paradise. Most folks who live in here actually live, live here because they want to. They, because they're looking for boating. Okay, you can go out Lake Santa Barbara, head up the Intercoastal, and pretty much go anywhere you want to go to. Okay, one of the other things that Lake that Santa Barbara States has is somewhat unique. Is it's actually the most expensive neighborhood here in Pompano Beach, and it's with an average uh, with median home prices as any starts. They start anywhere above a million, and they can go up to, they can go up to as high as four and a half to five million dollars. Smaller than most of the other neighborhoods, with a population of about 2,000, the, neighbor, the neighborhood itself is very, very tight-knit, tight, tight -knit, and there's very little turnover in the neighborhood, making it also a very desirable neighborhood, which, um, which again, puts it in our top five list. One of the other interesting facts about it is that when, when properties do become available in this neighborhood, despite the higher price point, they're usually snapped up very, very quick. As you can see by, by our little travels around here, it's a very, very beautiful neighborhood, very well kept. The neighborhood itself started in the late 50s and 1960s, and most, if not all, the houses themselves have all been renovated. And in fact, in some cases, they were actually taken to the ground and rebuilt with all new, larger, much larger houses. But again, trying to keep in place, trying to keep in, in with the, uh, the uniqueness of the Santa Barbara Estates look, and to not, uh, to not stand out and make it so that everything kind of fits in with everything else. One of the other neat things about this neighborhood is it actually has its own little waterfront park on Lake Santa Barbara where folks go to meet and congregate. They take their dogs, take everything else, kind of go hang out. So it's a very, very beautiful neighborhood. Located almost smack in the middle of just about everything here at Pompano Beach is Harbor Village. It borders the Intercoastal. It's right off of Federal Highway. Okay, it is right across the street from the Pompano Beach Air Park, the Pompano Beach um, 
City Park and also the Pompano Beach Amphitheater. So it's pretty much located uh, in, the, in the center of everything. It's also a very, very short distance out to the Pompano, Be to Pompano Beach itself and the new Pompano Beach Pier and all of the new restaurants and attractions out around there. Harbor Village was built, they started building it in the, in the mid to late 1950s and they actually didn't finish up until, the, until, the tw until about 2020, 2020. So they just did a, it was just a little bit of adding here, a little bit of changing here and stuff like that. But as you can see, it's still kind of a mixture of the old and the new where everything kind of comes together. The homes here, medium home value here, is about 590,000 and 600,000. So you still see some of the some of the older homes that have not been renovated or have not been completely updated um, that are in here that kind of keep the keep the prices somewhat moderate for this area. One of the unique things about this is that much like Santa Barbara Estates, there's a, there's a very, very high owner to renter ratio. So most folks down here, they own their homes, they live in it year round. There are a few folks that rent out about 20 to 25% of the properties here are rented out, mostly over the high season when folks have gone up elsewhere. There are some full-time rentals that go on around here, but most of the stuff again is seasonal and folks live here, live here on their own year round. So these were initially built to be very, very large homes. Most of them are anywhere between two and six bedrooms and two and seven bathrooms. And some of the homes starting at about 15 to 1600 square feet, some of these homes go up to, to three and 4,000 square feet, which again speaks to some of the higher end prices that, are, that can reach over 3 million here in Harbor Village. But looking around and seeing the, the, the neighborhood, how well it's kept, and the, just the natural beauty and how, how everything is kind of just kind of melding together. It's no wonder why Harbor Village is one of the top five neighborhoods here in Pompano Beach. Small, secluded, surrounded by water on most every side. Lots of beautiful homes, Southern South Florida lifestyle living. Garden Isles, this is where it's at. This is no doubt looking around. This is one of the reasons why Garden Isles is definitely one of the top neighborhoods that people are looking at. Average price around in these neighborhoods is about $850,000. Some of them even go up over, over a million. Some of them are down around $450,000, $500,000. It really all depends upon whether or not the house has been renovated. And, and actually, <laughs> it almost depends upon what street you're on. Some of the streets have water on both sides. Some of the streets have water on one side. Some of the streets are completely landlocked. So that's gonna determine a lot of it. But one of the things that you, a couple of the things that you do get here is you get a very quiet, very serene neighborhood. Sidewalks for walking and bicycle riding. Folks that are out waving to you and enjoying, having a good time, enjoying themselves. The neighborhood is very, very well kept, very well mannered. So folks are very friendly, even for a secluded neighborhood, which is not saying anything about the neighborhood, other than it's just basically, it's kind of set back away off, the, off of the beaten path. You may, in fact, some folks would refer to it as one of those little hidden gems that you really gotta be looking for. Either that, you gotta be specifically looking for it, or you have to, as we have done in a, on a few of them, kind of stumbled upon them unintentionally. But, uh, but no, this is, a, this is definitely a nice neighborhood and a nice area. Mature palm trees, nice houses, nice homes. Whether it's the 9,000 plus condos, villas, and single family homes, or it's the Broward County Park, built George Brummer Park, built by Broward County right inside here. Okay, that has tennis courts, basketball, volleyball, um, all kinds of picnic areas for the kids, playgrounds for the kids, okay? Or, or any one of the other number, numerous amenities. Palm Air is always on everybody's list of popular neighborhoods here in Pompano Beach. Started in the late 1960s, early 1970s, and continuing even up to this day, Palm Air is a, is a compilation and conglomeration of condominiums, single family homes, villas, and now townhomes. It's over 9,000 of them. It's almost its own city. So, in fact, as a matter of fact, it even has its own supermarket. Publix, the Publix in here. But one of the things that's actually the coolest about it is that throughout all these different types of of properties and all these different types of housing and everything like that, you have an incredibly eclectic and an incredibly blending mix of owners, 
renters, investors, folks who come down just for the high season, folks who avoid the high season. It's just kind of a, an eclectic mix and somehow, some way, it, it all seems to work. Most everybody who's, who, who's in Palm Air has, is in here and they love it. And they come in here and they, they, they look for, for months, if not years, to find property in here. And once they're in here, they never want to leave. Whether it's the Skolnick Center, which is a full-blown community center with a full stage, kitchen, all kinds of bank banquet rooms and all kinds of rooms to do any basically any type of social activities from AARP safe driving courses to Zumba whether it's the five plus miles uh, walk walkways bikeways and trails or as I said whether it's a park like George River Park here where folks come to play play basketball hang out have a good time Palm Air is, is always on people's list of the top neighborhoods here in Pompano Beach. With an average price point of about $310,000 for the condos, a little bit higher for the villas and about five or 600,000, between five and 600,000 for the single family homes. It's still one of the more affordable options here that, that gives you a bunch of amenities. You have associations like Oaks Way that have three clubhouses and four pools grills and everything else. You have associations like Pac-5 that have that have saunas inside there, inside the, the clubhouses. You have just a little bit of everything for everybody around here. It's no wonder it's one of the top neighborhoods here in Pompano Beach. These are only five of the 40 plus neighborhoods and communities in Palm Air. If we didn't hit yours, please don't feel bad. Let us know. Drop us a note, shoot us an email. We'll be more than happy to uh, to run out and grab a video on your on your favorite community, on one of your top communities. If you have any questions about any of the community neighborhoods that we've that we've previewed here, yeah, if you would, if you drop us the link and uh, tell us what you think, we'd sure love to hear from you. And stay tuned because next week we have ten things you need to know about moving to Pompano Beach. So until next time. Oh yeah, and if you give us a hit us with a like we'd appreciate it and a subscribe would even be better yeah so until next time we'll see you